Hey, so today I'd like to demonstrate to you how you can use Xcolid Draw to do some mind mapping. So first of all, we're going to create a new drawing and we are going to create it in the current active pane. And I'm going to name this drawing uh, Mind Mapping with Xcolid Draw. And to get started, we are going to make this full screen and let's get started with this question. So mind mapping with X call it raw is going to be our title. I'm actually going to change this to uh, the handwritten font and I'm going to make this black and let's put something around this. So um, this is going to be a curly line and let's just do something fun here like this and this is going to be our central title maybe we can even make this slightly bigger so there we go i'm going to give this a color so maybe this is going to be an orange background or maybe i'm going to make this sky blue and there you go um, i'm going to send this to the back and select this i'm going to Control G group this and I'm going to just enlarge this a bit. And so when we think about mind mapping in X call it raw, then uh, there are a couple of questions that come to mind. So one would be how, maybe the other would be why, and then I think there's also the question of when. You might come up with other questions as well. And so let's just circle these questions. I'm going to make these uh, transparent, but let's make their lines a bit uh, heavier like this. And I'm going to just copy this uh, circle to the other items as well, like this. And then I'm going to make these into groups. And let's just connect these up. And I'm just going to use uh, this simple connector where I'm actually using an arrow and the reason for using an arrow is because if I connect with an arrow then if I move the object around the arrow will follow it and so that's the basic reason for using the arrow in this case there we go so oops there it's connected and I'm going to just use the shortcut so if I press 5 that's my shortcut I'm going to use the arrow to this item as well there we go. And so now the three uh, questions are connected. And so let's start to work on this and let's start to work on, so why would you want to uh, do mind mapping at all? And I think also, why would you want to do it in Excolidra? And so one reason is that it boosts creativity. And we can even uh, add an emoji to this. Let's say this is going to be a uh, thinking face emoji that I want to use here. And then why else would I want to uh, use it? I think I want to use it because it's uh, actually a flexible way to draw. So it's flexible. And let me continue on this and uh, we'll get back once the drawing uh, is ready.
So I think I'm done with an initial uh, draft. So let's just look at this mind map. The three questions that came to mind as I was thinking about this topic was how would I mind map? Why would I mind map? And when would I use this skill? Overall, the process might be slightly slower and that's also true for sketchnoting. So compared to writing a bullet point list, I think the process is slower. However, it engages your creativity. It's more fun. It helps you focus much more. So the whole activity of drawing and writing and thinking together uh, makes for a much more uh, efficient process. And so then moving on to the question, how would you uh, use uh, mind maps uh, and how would you create them in Obsidian? Um, so I think, first of all, it is actually not a visual vocabulary, but probably more a visual grammar that uh, we need to define. And, and so basically the idea is you want to be somewhat deliberate uh, with the colors you're using, with the shapes you're using, with the lines you're using, uh, the font sizes. But I think overall the message is don't overthink it. This is not an exact science. This is to get uh, stuff documented. And, and I have this example here. Uh, this is the issue-based information system. And this is a graphical representation of an argumentation. And so this is one specific grammar that you could use in terms of defining issues and positions, arguments and decisions. Uh, and adding ed evidence. This uh, is an example when you have a visual representation with a fairly strictly defined grammar. And then the other aspect of how is there are some best practices. And if I look at best practices, I, I think it's always a good idea to organize around questions. And so you can see that I've organized around these three questions, how, why, and when. Uh, I'm using arrows instead of lines and that is because arrows can connect to objects and then you can see if I move this around then the object uh, will uh, stay connected and that just helps with organizing uh, the material on screen or reorganizing. Learn to use hotkeys. So for example, these numbers up here, these are super useful. So if I want to draw a rectangle, I just press two and I can draw my rectangle. If I want an arrow, I press five and I can draw my arrow. So these are uh, extremely helpful as well as I have some hotkeys like to group objects. So if I select multiple objects, I can of course right click and select group selection, but I also can do Control G. Uh, for this to work in Obsidian, you actually need to go to hotkeys and redefine the uh, map or the graph function in Obsidian because it has a default Control G assigned. It's actually good to learn some color names. So things like, uh, let's look at some background colors here like sky blue or I uh, could say gold or orange or orange red or whatever. So these are actually uh, good uh, color names to remember. It just helps you if you know some colors that you like, then uh, it is much easier to select those colors by the name. Um, you saw that I use my stencil library of uh, icons and indeed during the process I even added this icon from one of my drawings so from now on this is going to be in my stencil library. I also use emojis so you can see a couple of places and that's a very easy way of adding graphics to your picture. I just add a couple of uh, emojis here and there and also you can use drag and drop. You can drag and drop items from the file explorer so here you go if i wanted to add this here i could simply drop it here and i have my link to that object and similarly 
I can drag and drop block references if I have this excellent plugin, CD and drag and drop blocks installed. Uh, at the moment, uh, this is, by the way, only uh, available on GitHub, not yet in the community uh, plugin store, but uh, this will be coming soon, as I understand. So those are some of the best practices. And then if I look at the when I would use this, well, so I think, first of all, I would use it in a daily mind mapping uh, setup. And in that sense, uh, you could either use a mind map to plan your day or you could uh, organize a mind map around a self-reflective question. And indeed, you can even use a templator script. Maybe in the next uh, video, I'm going to show you how to create a daily drawing template with a self-reflecting question in the center so you can already uh, get started with a an image uh, up front but you can also use this for problem solving for group brainstorming and i'm sure you have uh, lots of other ideas uh, how to use mind mapping all right so i hope you found this useful so this is how you can do mind mapping with obsidian x college draw and Enjoy sketching, enjoy Xcolor Draw, and let me know if you have any questions or ideas. Thank you.